The following audiovisual exhibits are pertaining to a special investigation by the FBI and according to Scotland Yard, any information regarding these events should be um, directed towards the New York field office of the FBI, Special Agent John Field. Yes, this is uh, Neil Van Orton, Alan Scott's yeah, reporting for the BBC. Um, it turns out that um, early preliminary reports have 18 um, recently graduated students from Chongzhou University found at the uh, site of a graduation party the uh, morning uh, after uh, apparently a, the revelry began. Uh, the 18 bodies were, far, were found um, extremely in an extremely uh, uh, degraded state, uh, beyond recognition, burned beyond recognition. Uh, this inferno lasted um, approximately three and a half hours before firefighters had it under control. It was a six alarm fire, and um, apparently one of the survivors of the grad party, um, inferno as it's being called, um, it was, survived the fire only to have lost his life um, concurrently by um, suicide leaping off of a Manhattan skyscraper in the early morning hours following um, the soiree. Uh, a memorial for the 18 families of the grad party, uh, so, uh, of, the, of those lost in the grad party, uh, Inferno has been held. Um, tonight, NBC premiered the um, first episode of the series, Grad Party, which is um, an edited version of the nine hours of footage which was acquired during the party. And um, recent um, web trends have released uh, the statistics that today on Google, uh, Grad Party was the top Google search in all worldwide searches. Uh, a bit of a twist today in the um, ongoing saga of the grad party. It turns out the dental records of some of the dead individuals have um, not correlated to their dental records. It's uncertain now what this means. Uh, a breaking development in the ongoing um, uh, de grad party uh, situation. It turns out the dental records were tampered with. Uh, this was the admission of a doctor that was recently um, uh, charged on an unrelated drug charge. Um, the grad party after the final exams, graduation day was held for this small online university called Chomsky University. Uh, on day nine was the graduation party held in the Westchester County of New York State, uh, about 20 minutes outside the city of Manhattan, or the borough of Manhattan rather. Um, the day after the party, or the morning of, a six alarm fire erupted and um, it was uh, took approximately uh, three and a half hours to put out the, uh, the raging inferno. Um, on day 33, the, uh, uh, FedEx was sent to uh, the Creative Artists Agency, a Hollywood uh, agency, which was sent footage um, from an anonymous source, apparently, uh, which revealed uh, footage of the last hours of the graduates. On June 3rd, 2012, uh, the night of the following is some footage from the exhibit now to the um, uh, his name is Bobby, um, uh, on record here it seems to be uh, Bobby, Robert uh, Bobby Lee of the Creators Art uh, uh, Agency who apparently has um, licensed the footage to Comcast NBC Universal um, for broadcast. Um, MSNBC is reporting that one of the victim's father is a South Carolina senator and he uh, has personally you know, asked the uh, FBI to investigate this. It's on, certain whether uh, arson is at play, although the Westchester Fire Chief has ruled, in fact, that arson is suspected. Uh, but it turns out that the father of one of the victims, a South Carolina senator, an incumbent of three, three terms, um, is um, ordering the investigation. Um, it's uncertain if it's been a suicide pact, a homicide, or a suicide. Uh, the mas national media here in the United States has actually picked up the story um, a couple of days after the New York press has covered it extensively. Um, and the funerals today were held on the 7th of June, uh, and, a, and a memorial service for all the victims was held, uh, where the president of the university, uh, Abraham Chomsky, the brother of the linguist Noam Chomsky, spoke uh, to the families uh, of the victims, as well as the few survivors. July 13, 2012, uh, apparently um, the FBI uh, commenced an investigation of the events surrounding the China, um, and uh, have focused their efforts on um, locating the host who had rented the party. Uh, on the 17th of August, uh, the filmmaker was identified and interrogated by the FBI who had sent the package to the uh, Creative Origins Agency. It's unknown and uncertain um, the motive or the uh, causation of the footage acquisition. Um, 
29th of July, uh, apparently there was an auction held by a uh, creative origin agency for the video rights, the licensing for the national syndication and uh, for the distribution of uh, the admittedly uh, macabre uh, footage of their last hours alive of these uh, young graduates who have who died only a few hours after the footage was filmed. Uh, apparently NBC, uh, CNN has reported that NBC is giving all profits um, from the uh, all proceeds from the advertising exhibition of the Brad Party series to the families, victims, there's no trust fund established for the families of the victims uh, in that phase. Uh, the media frenzy really began uh, sometime about two weeks after the, uh, the initial uh, uh, funerals. Uh, new footage has been sent and apparently in a breaking story to the um, Washington DC FBI field office um, that uh, sheds new light on the origin of the footage sent to the uh, Creative Origin Agency uh, uh, two months earlier. <clears throat> on the 21st of August, the TV series trailer was released by NBC, which reveals the, uh, some of the uh, scenes of the series. And the truth is leaked today. Um, inadvertently, uh, intentionally, we are not sure. It, it is very preliminary, but apparently the shit has hit the flat screen, so to speak. Um, because as is, at this moment right now, um, both CAA and Comcast, NBC Universal are in damage control. Um, this is an FBI notice and intention from Scotland Yard and the Federal Bureau of Investigation.